Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Milk Bar Podcast, episode 15. Today, we're joined by Elise, myself, Chris. We've got Daniel. We've got Oshan. We've got Mr. Angus Frank on the table with us. Have we decided it's a mister? No. He no, it, just, it fluctuates its gender. Nothing Sometimes it's it. a she. Sometimes yeah. it's an it. Sometimes it's... It's it. Pennywise. <laughs> just get off his back, yeah? Oh. Right, that's too small. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you can try. Anyway, we're missing a couple of the Milkmen members. Yeah, why is that? Um, they, I don't know, they just don't like us anymore. I think. They are cunts. Oh, right, okay. Still. Mm. They missed another episode. It's not right. Not How many right. episodes have they missed now? Like four, four at least? Yeah. Uh, five maybe at six? what point do we kick them up well do you know what I mean Stephen I think Stephen's missed four size missed like six seven. six or seven or <laughs> fucking too <laughs> many to count just ten all of them he's missed all of them he has actually been here he's been dreaming about it in his coma oh mm. <laughs> this is all in Simon's head Simon Whoa. if you're watching this please wake up <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't watch these no it's because he's in a coma <laughs> he can't <laughs> He's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on this podcast, in case you're unaware, we do comedic commentary, uh, pop culture from the weeks prior, including recent news, games, food, and more. How is everybody? I'm I'm actually excited for this episode because you're. This is the first time someone else is hosting the entire episode, not just the intro. So I don't have to do. Fucking anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm reading all these things. I, I'm waiting for it to some for it something to say like I was so cock. Blah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I will read it. I can just stroke Angus Frank the entire yeah. time. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we're doing we're doing good. I can see Still it in the alive, So yeah. you're really putting me off. I'll put you off. <laughs> <laughs> you do anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right, Chris. How are you, mate? Oh, thank you for asking. How thank was your weekend? Asking. It was all right. What did you do? Oh, you watched Barbie, didn't you? I did. I watched Barbie. I'm Barbie on your girl. own? No. Yeah, you went on your own. You're saying. <laughs> and you were saying I was you were, putting words in my mouth. You were saying there was the, the cinema was full of kids, and then you no, sorry, you were no, saying no. This that, was me. This is my accounting of it. No, no, this was Chris. Definitely, <laughs> what you said to me, like specifically Chris, Christopher Hedrick. Okay, he said this. He was like, "Yeah, I went to watch Barbie on my own, and then there was um, loads of seats free, and then there was these." a group of kids on one row and they were the only other people in that cinema and I sat next to them. No, this is definitely me. Oh. <laughs> Chris, are you doing this? The you did the same experience. Yeah, you, well, we yeah, just yeah. aren't in the same cinema yeah. just then we didn't pay each other we attention. We side of the kids. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting weird. <laughs> um, I did go and watch Barbie, actually. What did you think? I thought it was all right. I can't, I've got to be too... Do you know what I mean? You've got to be careful. What the, feminists, the feminists will get you, won't they? They'll get you. No, they don't watch this shit. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was good. I, it was good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was. An, yeah, it was an enjoyable watch. I think, personally, uh, Ken Ryan Gosling myself was in the right. <laughs> um, <laughs> was in the right. <laughs> I just thought he had a, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He man, was. Man, he was right. Man, to be fair, man. I had fun filming Barbie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Nice to meet all the cast and everyone else, but it was nice playing. Uh, fuck, what's his name? Bruce. Ken. <laughs> Why was I going to say Bruce? <laughs> it's nice yeah. playing Bruce. Uh, Oshan's definitely an Alan. Yeah, if you know he's got you know. Alan vibes. Who's Alan? Sure. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Hangover. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. 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 How much of he was just in the fucking Barbie, <laughs> <Yeah>. I <laughs> He's just there doing cat. He's <laughs> <laughs> giving all the, like, all the people just drugs. Yeah. Sounds standard. Yeah. I think that would make a better film, to be fair. You haven't I, even watched it. I know. Simple. Well, I'm not, I'm not going out of my way to watch Barbie yet. It's got Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling. Mm. No, you've done that in the wrong order. It's got <laughs> Ryan, Gosling. Ryan Gosling and Margot yeah. Robbie. And also Margot Robbie. It's got um, fucking Jason Cena. No, Jason Cena. Jason Cena. <laughs> Cena. <laughs> it's got his That's the off-brand Cena, one. Yeah. It's got I mean, an off-key like... in the theme. But da 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 <laughs> yeah, it's got a few like random celebrities, hasn't it? Because it's got like um, Dua Lipa. Yeah, Dua Lipa, and then my what's it called? Alan's played by uh, Michael Sarah. Yeah. yeah. Well, you two have, but like Ellis and Chris, you've both seen 
Barbie and Oppenheimer. I did the mm. Barbenheimer. You actually did the whole yeah, Barbenheimer. on your own. Mm. That was great. Might I add, when we had plans to do it as a group. Well, you said you wanted to only see Oppenheimer, so I said, fuck it, and I'll watch it by myself. Why not? You're a rat. Mm. <laughs> did, sure. you watch it, did you watch it in Broughton, IMAX? Yeah. Did You're you watch... an actual rat. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch Barbie in IMAX? No, it you wasn't a full available. Barbie experience. No, they Do didn't. IMAX Barbie standard Oppenheimer? I would have if they had it, but they didn't. I will say, when we went to watch Oppenheimer, it was clear the people that were coming out of the cinema that had what just watched Barbie because every single <laughs> fucking person pink. is wearing pink. Yeah. I know you did as well, didn't you? Oh, no, you were wearing a black T-shirt with the Barbie thing, weren't you? I was, but I had a uh, pink jacket. Oh, did you? <laughs> Legend. Why the fuck yeah. not? I'm going to go naked. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty mm. much there. Yeah, same skin tone ish. Mm. Although I'm more a bit, of, I'm more of an olive, aren't You're I? You're a really weird hairy Kendall. <laughs> yeah, oh, <I> <laughs> <laughs> we've deviated quite a lot. Yeah. Do you want to carry yeah. on with oh, the? Yeah. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> I've done all that. I'm reading off the next bit now. Yeah, I know. You ready? I'm just all right. Fucking, I'm just saying welcome. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You want to chill Stop out? Trying to steal just because I'm host. Oh, Stop do you trying know what? To steal it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me them back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me read the next read the next one. I need to do this very serious. It's a very serious role. It's not a serious here. bit, just go. Yeah. Just, <laughs> you know, chill out about it. I'm chilled. Mate, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, if you like listening to these podcasts, we have a Patreon. Start from just three pounds a month. <laughs> yeah, great deal from us. <laughs> These Such podcasts, <laughs> you're not selling it. You yeah, get, these you podcasts get. earlier, bonus content like plans for podcast special, merchandise, discounts, signed postcards, your name in the videos we produce, and more. So, if you want to continue making these podcasts, if it you isn't want possible, <laughs> if, so if you, you can't want even us, fucking read, <laughs> they're, they're they're making making it. It. <laughs> if you guys want to continue making a podcast, it's too weird. Support our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> That's you don't have to read it. Do you know what? We've gone Forget off the rails. Right, do you know what? Do you want me to Should give I... you bullet points next time? Yes. All right, sorry. So you, uh, you anyway, right, okay. Gist of it. Let me Patreon. Patreon pay, pay so we can do this. <laughs> PayPal. Yes. <laughs> Help me. And anyway, it's patreon.com slash Milton. Yeah. Check Please. out. Bye. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast over. See you later. I'm done. Okay. So this brings us on. On me. I thought was it. That was a little sneezy do. <laughs> you had a sneeze? Yep. And a poo. Oh, do you know what? I've been well snotty recently. Oh, stop fucking combo, deviating him. Let him great read. Combo. No, no, no. Because I've been painting the house, haven't I? So and I don't want all the fumes to like kill me in my sleep. You've got so a new I've been... house? Yeah, I've got a new house. Oh. I don't know if I told you. Um but I've been painting and I don't want the fumes to like give me AIDS or something in the night. It's all right in the day. Um <laughs> But I, I sleep with the window open, but because it's a bit moist at the moment and there's loads of rain and it's cold, I've just, I think I've got a, like a bit of hay fever. So I'm just constantly full of shit in my face. Nice. I thought you were going to say you wake up just fucking coated in rainwater. <laughs> yeah. And snot. Yeah. It's a mess, mate. Anyway, carry on. Yes. What was next? Yeah. Do you just to... wanted to deviate about yeah. my snot story. Nice. It was, I mean, Brings us to the next segment, which you could have probably put that story in, which is story of the week. Well, I've got a story for it. No, I'm joking. Go on. <laughs> so I let the bedroom window open, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so in this segment is where some of the milkmen volunteered to tell a story of something that's happened to them recently or in the past. Then we, the milkmen, will decide which story is the best. So who has a story to I, tell? I, I have a story. Oh. So, right, I keep going to the, one of the milkmen's houses because they keep leaving their windows open <laughs> and I just keep covering them in shit. And snot. And snot. <laughs> yeah. And it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. It's just someone else's house. This is why Stephen isn't here. Uh, He's got an infection. Yes. Yeah. Nice. He has. Of death. It's called loser. <laughs> <laughs> good one. Oh, man. Yeah. That is so good. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> He's never going to understand this because he never watches these anyway. So we could say whatever we want about him. I've Go. already said oh, What do you everything. hate about Stephen? <laughs> that Stephen is such a nice guy. New segment. <laughs> <laughs> what we hate about Stephen and Simon. Go. <laughs> They're both really lovely people. I like beards 
on Simon. I wonder what Steven looked like with a beard. Multiple. He's got uh, beards. I wonder what Steven yeah. looked like in my bed. What? <laughs> <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> so I'm getting distracted. Oh. Uh, story. Story. <laughs> I've got it written down here, but it's not the right thing. Story now. Story time. Story of the week. Um, has anybody got a story? I haven't thought of one, actually. To be fair, in the last episode, we had like a thousand yeah. stories. Yeah. So the problem it's not... is we've, we've burnt, out of, burnt out of stories. I've got... Kind of a story. Don't you start another fucking story. No, no, it's very quick, <laughs> very quick, and it's not about me. Okay. So, somebody I work with, she watches the odd one of these, and she's like, why would you never talk about me? <laughs> <laughs> right. So, her stories, obsessed, her stories are kind of like, um, how do I word this? Well, if she wants a story, I'll, I'll, t- I'll, I'll tell one of, that she's told me. Tell so, a tale. So, uh, it's very quick. It involves shit, so you can relate. Oh, yeah, nice. So, okay. um, she was on a date. Oh, someone. no. And then um, they're having a meal. Uh, <clears throat> next thing is she's like, uh oh, <laughs> danger. Been there. Uh... Yeah, all too familiar for you. That I'm there now. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I'm on anyway. a date. <laughs> <laughs> just turn around and candlelit dinner <laughs> with Angus Frank. <laughs> Smash. Um, um, sorry, yeah, you make up. Work. I'm trying to remember like, the specifics of it. I don't really want to because it's a bit gross. Right. Basically, she tries to get to the toilet. She's in there, but she doesn't make it. She's shat on the floor of the no. toilet. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. So she's there, like panicking, trying to clean it up with like whatever she can find. Like just the, the bare the, hands. Obviously, Nick is all like covered in shit and everything. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Luckily, there's like obviously in ladies they've got like a, a bin for like you know shit. Shit. The shit bin. The designated one for like when you shit yourself. Yeah. And then. Um, she had to like clean it up as best she could. And then when <laughs> when she opened the door, there was like an Asian family waiting to go in. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> that's... To go in. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So then she was just like, had to run out. And then she was just like, we've got to go. We've got to go. Did she still smash? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, he's a soldier. He was keen, wasn't he? He was keen. He is a yeah. soldier. Yeah, so <laughs> there, yeah. There you go. A little story. Hey, little story maybe just really fun. into that kind of stuff. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Going down on someone. <laughs> oh, someone's literally just shat themselves and they're still like, yeah, I'm up for it. I'm what up flavor? for it. Huh? You could be right there. Extra flavor, flavor is that what you yeah. just said? Yeah. Yeah. Could yeah be right. Well, I mean, you're not wrong, but it wouldn't be a good mm. flavor. Let's just put it that some way. Some people like that kind of flavor. Okay. Like why some people like pineapple on pizza. Yeah, pedophiles. Mm. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> what? You just got a pizza in front of you and all of a sudden... I've got a little story, but it hasn't got anything to do with present or past. It's a story to come. Yeah. Uh. This is a... <laughs> oh, why? Yeah. Um, so there is a bit of a past to this, to add context. So you just lied so, to me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. it, this, this, about... this has nothing to do with the past, but it involves the past. <laughs> it, context <laughs> for the past. Okay. Um, so for the past couple of weeks... <laughs> Stop saying past. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to say it more. Um, I have been trying to collect as many uh, signages from people close to me for a tattoo I'm going to get quite soon, hopefully this weekend coming. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Have you booked it? No. I've contacted them to get a rate, but I haven't got the time. Who are you going with? The same one that we usually do that we didn't go to last yeah, time? Yeah. Oh, one. mate, I'd have gone with you. You can still come with me. I don't want him now. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> you um, didn't invite me. <laughs> but the tattoo itself, I'm going to get it on my forearm. And it's just uh, two words saying, yeah, nah. And it's uh, like an Aussie, New Zealand Kiwi term. Yeah, nah. I, I just love that culture. So I'm going to get something like that. And um, I wasn't sure what kind of text or um, font I would be using because I'm quite nitpicky on that kind of stuff. Mm. Like it took a fucking whole month to choose what kind of um, font I would use for the milk one. And I decided instead of going down a rabbit hole, that I would get everyone I know to put their attempt on it, give their little spin. And uh, I'm going to be deciding tomorrow after looking at them all because I haven't actually looked at the results. I've Mm. told everyone, write it down put it in an envelope and then I'll look at it in the future and decide without knowing whose it belongs to. Mm. So 
I'm going to have somebody's handwriting on my fucking forearm without knowing who it belongs. If it isn't me, I'm going to be fucking fuming. <laughs> it probably won't be. Right? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. How the fuck do you know? <laughs> it could be mine. Nah. Oh, I've yeah, seen no, how you He's already looked at mine. Like, yeah. I've seen how you write like fucking crayon. Um, right. <laughs> Not a fucking cretin. <laughs> well, yeah. all right. Let's just we're all, that was just me getting in the firing line. So carry on. No, that's it. You're a cretin. That's the end so of it. Decided tomorrow. I'll be looking at them all tomorrow because uh, when I drive Danny back uh, home tonight, I'm going to get Simon to quickly jot it down. Hmm. And uh, yeah, there you go. Tattoo incoming. And it's going to get away your forearm here. On my forearm. Oh, I should probably mention why. Um, so I have a, I don't have pretty much any kind of phobia. I'm sure there's like a very minute one I've yet to discover, but one I do have is I absolutely having hate having any needles on, uh, this portion of my arm. It's because I had a little incident as a kid because I used to go to hospitals a lot where, Heroin. pardon, <laughs> as, as a it, kid, <laughs> heroin. Yeah. Um, and at one point I was having like a checkup and it was a like a trainee nurse who had put a needle in there. And I wasn't keen on needles, but this kind of solidified it where they had put it in and everything was hunky-dory. It, it was going fine. And then they took it out, started pissing blood really, without expecting it because I was the only one in the room. They took it out, kind of started to walk away and I was fucking just doing that everywhere. I fucking freaked out. I don't, I, I rarely have panic attacks, but that was like my first one as a kid, just mm. seeing blood fucking squirting like a fountain out of my uh, arm. Shut the fuck up with your Don't look, look at me. He was the one that did <laughs> you the You were face. grinning. Um, so that's kind of like a symbol to say, don't fuck with my arm for needles. Yeah. And there you go. That's my little story. I have a little story about needles, actually. When I was a kid, I was having a tooth out, and then the dentist said to me, do you want the needle to put you to sleep or do you want the gas? And I specifically said, gas. Yeah. I would like the gas mask because I don't like needles. And he stabbed me with a fucking needle. <laughs> and I couldn't do anything because guess what? It put me to fucking sleep. So then I get, I wake up and I'm just like, drowsy. So I had no idea what was going on. Anyway, guy's dead now because I went back. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. That's my story. Wow. Well, also, I've just realised, you know, in the last episode, we didn't actually decide who was the winner of that week for the story I don't remember week. what stories were told. Um, there was too many. To... Let's just there, was a lot of, there was a lot of, no, you know what? Raul's story. I remember Raul's. Raul's the winner. Yeah, Raul yeah, was the winner. What the was projector. Raul's story? The projector one, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Raul Mr. Mr. Atkin and Raul. They win. Yeah. yeah. Legends. That's there you go. All right. Uh, Chris, you got a story? I just, I've told a story. Yeah, he's just yeah. told a shit story. Um, yeah, we'll tell And it was one. a shit story too. All right. <laughs> Danny, you got any needle stories? I mean, drugs. All, all of the needles that I've had have gone successful. Apart from the one that went like through my cheek and then hit my cheekbone. That was weird. So when you say all the, ne- all the ones that have been successful. Well, no, it, it was successful <laughs> when it hit my cheekbone. Because that's what it does. It goes up and numbs your mouth. Uh, either side. and then Oh, because you fucked it on the bike. fucked all my teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't do that. It's fun. Just don't fall off a bike. I'd try my best, you know. <laughs> Honestly. Isn't it? Yeah. Just like, the... ride a bike properly. What's yeah. the worst accident you've had? Being born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Basically. Yeah. Um, like, no. have you ever been to hospital for something really bad? I had, a, like, appendicitis. <laughs> Sorry, an accident. No, nothing really bad. I, I, I haven't been in the hospital. In I haven't been anywhere. The, the doctors in yet. No, actually. I haven't actually <laughs> been for a checkup in like a couple of weeks. Twenty-four years. <laughs> yeah, I literally haven't been. I remember one time in the hospital, and she was like, "You haven't been here since you left when you were born." <laughs> no. Well, I'm guessing yeah. bottle with them. You were a week old at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you were walking yeah. on your fucking legs as well. Yeah. <laughs> Most I was chatting. <laughs> You're yeah. out, love. <laughs> Fancy I had a Yorkshire accent here. when I was a baby. Get that fucking yeah. cougar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I've had like injections and things. And then I went for um, some fillings like end last year. 
You're welcome for that. <laughs> okay. Ellis, it's it's just his face. It made me laugh. Getting filled in. Yeah, he just you said fill in, and then Alice was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fill in. Mm. So, yeah. And um, they had to, like, obviously, like, numb it. And, but I had it, because I had a fill in on, like, the back and then, like, the top of the other one. I basically had my whole face was just all numb. And I was driving home, like. <laughs> I don't think you yeah. should have been driving. <laughs> probably not, probably not. I couldn't feel my left side, <laughs> but I still carried on driving. <laughs> So I know. You get pulled over. Fucking hell, I didn't know the elephant man was still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been in hospital? I am a human oh. being. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Have you ever been to hospital for something really bad, Alice? Not for an accident, no. I've, I'm sure I've, like, came close, but nothing comes to mind. I don't Chris. <laughs> Fuck, mate. We You're need so to predictable now. Um, <laughs> no, nothing springs to mind. Just like that gnarly... Uh, blood spray mm. but I think the only bad thing for me was when I think it was my 12th birthday I was having a birthday party and I, at the time I really loved skateboarding and I was skateboarding and then um, I sat down on my skateboard and then rolled it and I had my f- hand underneath the skateboard and then a stick must like say my hand's like grabbing the board from underneath mm. a stick must have like got caught in the wheel mm. and then ended up like vertical and then got caught in between my fingernail. And then because I was rolling, <clears throat> it pushed against my fingernail and it just ripped everything off. <laughs> so then I'm just bleeding everywhere. So that was probably the worst thing I've had. <laughs> That's quite bad. Yeah, I've never had... I've seen, like, like my bro- like Jono. He's had, like... <laughs> I fucking bet. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, like, when we were really young once. And then I was just, like, just, like running around the house. Mm. And then I was chasing after him. With a whip, no. <laughs> and he, with a um, hammer. <laughs> yeah. And the weirdest thing happened, I just bashed it. No. Um, <laughs> he tripped, went fucking head first into a glass cabinet. Smashed no. It. Yeah, so he's got like a massive, like, if you ever see, he's got like a scar here. He's like, from yeah, that? From that. He didn't trip, you pushed him. <laughs> yeah. I swear he tripped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was quite mad mental, really. Jesus. Yeah. All right, B, so, John. He's a little bit fucked up. Have you told the story, Dan? Which one? Have you told a story? No, I don't have one. You must have a story. And it doesn't have to be like humiliate. Do week. you have a school story? Because they were talking about school last episode. Do you have anything um, that springs to mind from no, school? No, because I've already told about that. You know, the way I was set on fire. What? What? I'm, I've told this story. I don't when he was so. set on fire, have you heard this? I don't remember a story about fire. But I'm 100% sure I've told you this one. Well, well, well you can start it and then we can interrupt okay. it if you've already told it. I was in a science after school detention. With, Definitely haven't told this story. With, one, with my best mate at the time. And the teacher left the classroom. Yeah. He found a lighter and the links can. And then immediately just turned to me and set me on fire. That's it. He just set me on fire. And were you on fire for long? A little bit, yeah. Good minute. <laughs> a little bit doesn't help. <laughs> little, good you just sat too. there for 20 seconds like that fucking just, meme. Everything is fine. Yeah, it kind, of, it kind of happened. I looked down. I was like, oh, well, what the fuck? You know what I mean? What am I going to do now? Oh, oh no, no, I can't believe fire. you've done this. I had, I had to go and buy another school jumper. I had to hide that <laughs> one. Like, oh, I lost it. That's such a you response. Like, <laughs> that's such a you and Simon response. Like, oh, I'm on fire. Right. Every like Raybould story always involves some sort of like <laughs> fucking yeah. mad thing, and then Violence just like yeah, that, just yeah. whatever. Mm. Like Simon, oh yeah, I just got run over by a car, but <laughs> whatever, you know. Just moved on, mm. went back to work. Mm. Like, mate, what do you mean you got run over <laughs> by a car? Yeah, yeah, it was like the time he he got run over while he was playing Manhunt and cut up all of his face. Yeah, like went he's home, got a scar got on his stick and then went back yeah. out and carried a blade. Yeah, because mm. it was your mum that stitched him up, wasn't it? Yeah. Mental. Now he's got a scar on his eye. Yeah. How many scars have you guys got? And don't say mentally or like emotionally. <laughs> uh, well, I've got uh, I've got one on my forehead, which is um, a chicken pox scar. Because you know when they say, mm. don't pick your chicken, sp- uh, chicken pox? Yeah. Well, I did. <laughs> and for some reason, I decided to choose the one on my forehead. So now there's a scar on my forehead. But I'm still beautiful, so it's all right. Uh on your good days, this isn't a good day. Not including all my right. legs, I have about 14. 14? All, all up my arms, my chest and all that. Ooh. You know, like bike accident stuff. I actually have, I have, you can't see it because of my beard, but I have like three here on my uh, chin. Because when I was a kid, 
I think I was either I was either running or I was on a bike like you actually, and I fucked it, fell over the front of the bike and scraped all my front my face like that, and I actually chipped my teeth. A few of my teeth came out. What are you? What have you done with your hair? Don't question <laughs> it. Keep going. Mate, stop stealing Danny's story about falling off a bike. I know. Yeah. I, Honestly, I'm older than him. Copyright. Yeah. I was. I'm older than him. So this was before he even was born, mate. It definitely wow. wasn't. You're only like three years older than me. <laughs> Yeah, I could have been three. <laughs> I don't know how old I was, to be fair, but I was. I, it was definitely before you did that. So fuck off. You're copying me. <laughs> Jeez. The only, uh, Mine was worse, though. You chipped yours. Mine came out. Well, yeah, I'm built different. <laughs> I can't get hurt. I was crying. <laughs> it's it bad, though, because I wasn't even, like, it wasn't, I wasn't even with my mum at the time. I was with my, one of my mum's mates. So then she had to take me back with teeth broken, <laughs> face covered like, yeah. in blood and mud. I fucked up your son. Here, here you go. go. Here he is. <laughs> He's had a nice time. Was like, <laughs> he was like, was screaming. It was like that when I got when I got him. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Jesus, oh, such a whim. Yeah. I've only got one scar. Well, no, I've probably got a couple scars, but I've only got one that I really like notice. And it's mm. on my uh, knee. Mm. And then I was on holiday in like South Wales somewhere, and I was like swimming in the sea, but I didn't go far out enough, and I went to swim. <laughs> And I bashed my knee off like a really sharp rock. And then uh, I was like, it didn't really hurt too bad. And obviously like, the salt water had washed it. Mm. But when I stood up, I looked. I was like, ah, that's a little bit deep. You can see a bit of bone there. Ooh. Ooh. And then um, I, uh, I, walk, I was like walking out. And I was like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And then my mum was like panicked. Like, her face was like all like, you know, shocked. My leg was covered in blood. Because obviously it was, like, the water as well made it look worse. And I was just literally, my whole leg was just blood. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Do you know what? You've just reminded me of another story. I have a, a scar on the back of my head. Oh, yeah. You noticed it the yeah, other day. Yeah. You were like, what is that scar on the back of your head? And uh, obviously I forget because it's on the back of my fucking head. Mm. I mean, I always see the back of your head. Yeah, you do, <laughs> to be fair. Um, so, yeah. That's, that's it. That's the story. No, so basically, I was, I, again, I was a kid. I was a fucking stupid kid, but still am. And adult, yeah. 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 Um, but I was in a swimming pool, and then you know how they say don't run around a swimming pool? Well, again, I ignored that, and I started running around a swimming pool. Then I fell onto the back of my head. I don't know how I managed this, but I fell onto the back of my head, and then my head smashed open. So I've got a scar on the back here, mm. and I just started pissing blood everywhere. Went into the swimming pool. They had to close the pool. But everyone had to get out. And then uh, my mum and then someone else that was there, like, just swimming, Decided to help me, obviously. I mean, my kid <laughs> bleeding from my head. <laughs> no, I'd be all right. Um, but yeah, I, I, I remember just looking in the mirror because they obviously, I, they were like getting loads of tissue and whatever. I was just looking in the mirror. I couldn't feel a thing, like anything. Didn't hurt or anything. It was weird. But I just remember seeing tons of tissue covered in blood just gushing out from the back of my head. And this woman and my mum was screaming honestly it's mental <laughs> why didn't i tell this story <laughs> first why did what did i go with before some bullshit i don't Yo, remember chip tooth a little bit or something. yeah some <laughs> fucking yeah. shit story oh, Mate, pick me chicken this is a well, yeah that was that was the story this is a well good story yeah so anyway i was pissing blood and then i was just sort of staring in the mirror like huh right okay well i don't feel anything so i'm all right my mum was like are you okay are you okay? yeah sound sound mate don't worry about it. <laughs> Anyway, I died. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was well weird. Though. I just, you know, like if you have a little like prick in your hand or something. I'm looking at one. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Not, not <laughs> Let's get it all out now. You fucking cunt. Right. <laughs> oh Jesus! But you know when you have like a little uh, scratch or something, it fucking stings. It was weird because I just didn't feel anything. Probably hurt a nerve or something. I'm, I'm <laughs> brain damage. Let me hit you in the back of the head. See if it hurts. Right. Yeah. You, but. You know, in like boxing, they say you can't hit someone in the back of your head. Mm. It's like illegal to hit yeah. them because you can just fucking die. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I survived. So wow. that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm wow. saying. So you're saying you want a double tap? <laughs> <laughs> tap that twice, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> who knows? All right. Okay. That's some good stories, but who, who is the winner? What were they? Oh, there was too many. I can't even remember them. Ellis's was his tattoo. Mm -hmm. Yours was... Your friend shitting us off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. is a good story. Mm -hmm. Mine's nearly dying and Mine surviving. Mine was me being set on fire. Ooh, they're all good mm -hmm. stories, aren't they? 
Ooh, I did like Chris's. I did. Well, it's not even yours though, so I don't no, think that counts. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, Raoul won last one, so. <laughs> yeah, but Raoul's a legend. I don't mm, know who she yeah, is. Yeah, that's fair. And to be fair, she shat herself. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine doing that. Imagine shitting yeah. yourself. That's fucking embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm I'm just gonna put my vote towards Chris's friend because that that is a funny story. I don't want to give it to it. And what a soldier that guy is for still. <laughs> give it to it. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's do that. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll let that. Whatever your name is that shagged Chris's workmate when she shat herself. <laughs> fair play. Well done, yeah. mate. Commitment. Yeah. Well I like that. Well, this work friend's gonna hate you now. I don't know, you know. I think she'll like that. I think she will as <laughs> yeah. well. Yeah. Mm. Shit yourself again for more stories. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> He's really weird. Have you shot yourself in your new house yet? Oh, I had a close call. Oh, for folks. <laughs> I did have a close call. I went into the toilet to just have a wee, and I thought, oh, I feel a fart coming. Thank fuck I was in the toilet. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Jesus. That was a close call. You'd have never done a 180 faster in your whole life. Honestly, I was like, what? <laughs> never trust a fart. Man, <laughs> To have a house with three toilets just for yeah no abortions. honestly it was one of the things that i said to my i was like we need more than one bathroom because if you're in there knowing me i'm gonna just i'm gonna knock the door down <laughs> you're not gonna be able to hold it <laughs> like that. Door down. yeah i'll just throw her if she's in the toilet and you're using it and i need I'm just, mate she's out <laughs> Out the window. Knock her up, right into the bath yeah so there's two people living in this house and we have three toilets just to make sure one on each level of the house i might have another one installed <laughs> in the kitchen in the shed <laughs> yeah. it's not even attached to the plumbing it's just you, there you know where all the, the garden the chairs and there's one for you <laughs> <next> <laughs> to toilet. Yeah. there's just a flower pot i'm like i won't go near that one <laughs> <laughs> we, we grow near oh uh won't, won't worry about that one <laughs> man's got his own fertilizer that's it for the garden yeah yeah <laughs> ideas nice. Nice. Cheers, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that segment went on for a fucking while, didn't it? It did, didn't it? Okay, yeah. now, moving on. Stop waffling. Right. So, if you want to become a Milkman founder, check out milkman.shop with limited edition hoodies, t shirts, caps, and more. Milkman Original will keep you cuddly, warm, and cozy. No. Oh. With free shipping on orders over £69 <laughs> across the UK. Purchase any products, and you'll be labeled as a Milkman founder. Make sure to check us out at the mer. Check us out. Check. <laughs> check the merch out. At the. At... Fuck. Oh, <laughs> Milkman dot shop. There you go. go to nice. Milkman shop. I had a little bit of a stroke at the end. There. I thought you yeah, were turning into a cow <laughs> then. <laughs> I feel like you stress out a bit too much about reading it like fully. Just, just, uh, just see the title and go right. Something about merch. Read it like Stephen. Don't. <laughs> just right. don't read it. Anyway, <laughs> let's go on to the next segment, which is. Segment three. We... <laughs> <laughs> that's that's it? it. That's the segment. It's the weekly news recap. Ooh. Ooh, the news. Has anybody got any, any news? news? I'm not sure if I told you, but I've moved into a new house. No, you never mentioned it. <laughs> Ooh, you've got some good news. <laughs> I know you're going to say, I got a pizza I got oven. a pizza <laughs> oven. This is actually great news. He's fuming about it. I don't know why, because he's going to get pizza. Do you know what I mean? Fucking I think it's excessive. excessive. Yeah. You no, with... it's not. <laughs> Everyone keeps saying this, but it's, it's so it's, worth It's doing. like having your fucking air fry. We've already had this conversation, but it's just... Air, what do you mean? Air fryers are great. Oh, mate, you can't, you can't say that You've when you look like that. You've got a fucking oven and a microwave. Yeah, and... air fryer. I can do two things at once. I know I couldn't do that in the oven, but it's better on energy. It's more efficient. It's more eco-friendly. It's quicker, and it'll cook everything... So that it finishes at the same time. So I don't have to like go back into the kitchen and put everything in. I just shove it all in, put the times on, and it goes, Doo, and it's all done. Right? So fuck you, Ellis. I don't like how much space it takes on the counter. I'm getting a bigger kitchen. Like, give me it. I've literally moved in like two weeks ago. Do you want to <laughs> fucking chill out? Oh, you're such a boomer. Your coffee anyway, machine as well takes up quite a lot of space. Your air, air cooker, your fucking air air cooker. Pizza, <laughs> pizza oven. Pizza yeah, I am excited about a pizza oven because do you know what? I'm going to feed all you cunts when you come to parties. No, you're not. You're yes. going to order fucking Domino's. No, that's the point. This saves money. So if I was to... Right. No, we want the wedges from Domino's. 
What? No, I'll put that in the air fryer. See? Win-win. Right. I won't eat it. My point is, if I had, <laughs> if I have a party, there's going to be like 50 people there. Mm. I know a lot of people. Sorry. You right? Don't I don't. It's not a flex. Anyway. It is. <sighs> anyway, there's going to be like, say, say just at minimum 50 people, right? And I've got to feed that many people. Mm. If I was to feed them pizza and a barbecue, and it was, and I was just using the oven, just like a normal oven, it takes like 20, 30 minutes to cook one pizza. How many pizzas am I going to have to cook for 50 people? One, just really big. <laughs> I haven't got a big enough oven, mate. This is why I bought a pizza oven. So a pizza oven warms up in 15 minutes and then it cooks pizza in one minute. So I can have pizza fucking out the box, in there, one minute, everyone's eating. What? 20 minutes. It's just the I- speed that keeps baffling me. Yeah, Why but you speed equal like good flight, like because taste? you've never had a stone bake oven pizza, have you? Like from Italy, you know where they fucking. <laughs> Are you going Sorry. all your way to Italy to get this fucking? Have you pizza been to oven? an Italian where they've got a stone bake oven? Yes. Yeah. Right, it's that quick. Yeah, but they they have like proper like pizza. Pe- well, you're just gonna get like you're gonna get an Asda it's pizza. It's a stone bake oven in the pizza oven. It's not just like yeah, but but what pizza the, are you the gonna pe- get? The novelty a stone of bake pe- mate. Oh my god, what is no wrong the novelty with this of guy? those pizza ovens. Well, like in restaurants, is the pizza is fucking handmade there? Mm. If yeah. you get one from Asda and no. it's just a okay, interject. I can make the stone bake pizzas. Are you though? I can, and I will for a, like small party. But for big parties like that, you can buy stone bake pre made pizzas that go into stone bake ovens. That I'm aware. Same prices like I used frozen. to make them. Huh? I used to make them. I'm aware. Yeah. So. I can either do that for big parties or for smaller ones where it's just like a gathering. Mm. We can all put the pizza oven on, make our own pizza, and then shove it in one minute later. We'll be eating pizza. You know what's we've funny? Made. This is probably the most heated discussion we've ever had. Yeah, and it's about <laughs> pizza. Yeah. This is something I'm very fucking passionate about, right? We've <laughs> spoken. Yeah, we've spoken about like all sorts of fucked up shit. He's brought out 9 11. You've said about Nazis. So have you, to be fair. And I don't care about any of that. But when it comes to pizza, mate. Back off, right? This is my game. This is me. <laughs> He's just trying to convince himself it was a good purchase. It That's is, and it is. none of you. Oh, <laughs> man, it's really <laughs> such a matter. In all fairness, I'm thinking about buying one as well. Thank you. So, but right. where yeah. have you got the fucking yes. space for it, Danny? Isn't, this ain't going in my fucking room like everything else. <laughs> right. Can we all just uh. take a chill pill for a second? Neither of you have actually seen it or tried it. So after you've tried it, come back to the podcast. And, and then if it's still shit, then I'll let you have that opinion. Yeah. Then you're no longer part of the milkman. <laughs> <laughs> then you're kicked out and you're not on the podcast anymore. Fair enough. You're going to get your money's worth. Mate, I'm glad I brought that up. You're going to get your money's worth out of it, though. Like When it's the winter, you're just outside. <laughs> yeah. No, but also, like, so the, the other op- if I didn't have this, the other options would have been, like I said, just put it in the oven, 20 minutes for a pizza. It would take fucking ages to cook all the pizzas. You don't have that patience. Yeah. Or order them. That's going to cost a lot of money. It's In the long term, it is definitely a better investment. And it's fun. But you guys just aren't, are you? <laughs> yeah? Fucking hell. I also bought a barbecue, but you don't want to hear about that. I love a barbie. Oh, my God. I was in a barbecue on Saturday. When I was queuing up for the cinema to watch Barbie. Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> that was his <Why>? piss. <laughs> yeah, I did Can't buy a barbecue as well. A gas one. <laughs> Sorry. Son of a bitch. What was in that? Why does it taste salty? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually fuming about that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're on the news, mate. Oh, World yeah. World news. Not. Why does your why does your pizza oven that apply trumps to world whatever news? is on that card? Well, you're about to find out. Oh yeah, it does. Man who won eleven million pound lottery jackpot back working normal job after winning jackpot says uh, it ruined his life. He said it ruined ruined his life. So In, what? A guy that won eleven million squiddies. Yeah, he's gone back to work in a normal job because he said the money ruined his life. And uh, a bit more description here for you. In June 1995, nice recent... (laughs) World news. (laughs) Mark Gardner. (laughs) Yeah, recent. (laughs) Fucking hell, who wrote this? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Mark Gardner, 61, and his then business partner, Paul Madison, won a huge jackpot of £22,590,829. 
to be exact. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Which they split between them, of course. Uh, around 21 years after winning the lottery. Ah, here we go. So now yeah, yeah, we're up now, to date. Now, there now, you go. Yeah. And Gardner was interviewed on Good Morning Britain in a segment about how the lottery changes lives. Though he admitted he only had about 10 quid left from his winnings. So here's a question for you, boys. Mm. You win yep. 11 million squids. What do you do with it? Buy another pizza oven. <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> off. Spent all of it on pizza ovens. Yeah. Now, I remember hearing a um, similar discussion on another podcast fucking years ago. And most of them came to the conclusion this was like, this was a podcast where they didn't have banter or they improv. They just like, had serious discussions. And most of them agreed that they would literally just have it in their account and just keep working the same job they did. That's such a boring... Mm, I know. Yeah. So I think of something good, lads, because I've got nothing. Cocaine. Okay. Straight to it. I don't even do I'm drugs. Bear. Yeah, do you remember Cocaine Bear, mate? Make it real. Yeah. Well, real, real. It, it was yeah. real, but let's make it more real. Yeah. <laughs> I would, That's yeah, really real. I'd it. do it, though, like, not so bad, because obviously the bear in... The act, he died. Yeah, he, just he actually died. just died, didn't he? So I'd, just... I'd do it in the middle of a city. Oh. <laughs> cocaine Bear. <laughs> cocaine. Big Apple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I pay for just everybody else to take cocaine as well. Yeah. So it's, Everyone's uh, on cocaine. See who wins. Yeah. What I, first thing I would do is pay for new friends that appreciate my pizza. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be expensive. This is going to be a running <laughs> game. 11 million. Death is going to cut it. No, mm. it's 2v2 here, to be fair. And honestly, I guarantee when you try the pizza from this pizza. I'm not saying I'll dislike it. I just don't like the concept of them. Why? I don't like the We've already had this fucking discussion. No, because you, you get pizza quick. And it's just good. <laughs> it's food. Yeah. <laughs> you get to make your own pizza and it's like from Italy. Mate, I've done that for far too long. I don't want to relive it. <sighs> I'm never going to... Whatever. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm out of this. See you later. <laughs> so what would you spend 11 mil on, Chris? I think it's just like... It is boring, but you would just spend it on like nice cars, nice house, holidays with the lads. Maybe take the missus. <laughs> <laughs> maybe probably yeah it's, it, is, it is like a cliche in it but I reckon you've got to think of like if you're going to think of so what, if mm. you just spend it on one thing on one you've, thing you've got one thing you can buy and it's got to be like absolutely mental absolutely. house okay. just an absolutely mental house mm. yeah that's a plane no oh do you know what stocks I want. stocks like game socks stuff. Yeah, socks. <laughs> Loads of socks. <laughs> or just one pair that are really good. <laughs> Solid gold socks. The chain mail. <laughs> Can I change my answer, actually? Can I have a village of houses with all my mates and family there? No. Can Not all, all my family. Fucking hell, are you a communist? Them. Fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And I'm the mayor. It's going to work for you. <laughs> yeah. Turns yeah. out no one shows up. <laughs> He's just got all his houses. <laughs> I, buy, I buy a whole village and I'm like... I've got no friends. I kind of forgot I had no mates. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mates with you two. Fucking shitting on my pizza. Every house has got a fucking pizza oven ready yeah. to go. <laughs> no furniture. Yeah. But in every room, there is a pizza oven. Yeah. That's, that's what I would do. I think house, but I'd have my garden would have a massive racetrack in it. And then what, I'd... are you 12? I'm saying that wouldn't be fun. I'm saying that's track. just fucking like horrible to wake up to the sound of fucking. It's not even me. I'm not gonna like rent it out. <laughs> oh, okay. It's, it's my own track that I can like. Well, you know for a fact like, Danny and Simon are gonna be there every day. <laughs> Six a.m. You wake up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> no, I think I think for me, if, like realistically, if if I got eleven million quid, I would. Uh, I don't know. I was going to say I'd probably stay in the house that I'm in now, but I probably wouldn't. I'd sell that mm. and then get a house, like a farmhouse, with loads of land mm. and then just do mad shit on it mm. and just fucking dick about, honestly. So mm. basically what Stephen's doing right now. Yeah. <laughs> sort it then. Not his family paying for it, he's paying for it. I know, but still. Yeah, and also Stephen wouldn't do that. No, he just yeah. likes to sit in his room and play games. Yeah. yeah. We like to actually experience oxygen and vitamin C. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. We know yeah. what colour the grass is. Pink. 
What? Some of us know what color the grass is. Are you colorblind? He's, no, he's, dys- he's dyslexic. That's yeah. why. <laughs> so I, can't, I can't read the grass. Yeah. <laughs> that's a quote that's going on a t shirt. Yeah. I can't read the grass. <laughs> Hang on, isn't that a, like a gardening term? Reading something? I don't grass? fucking know. No? Well, I don't know. <laughs> if it <laughs> is, that, even better. Shit. What's it? Did you have another question, Chris? I'm just, <laughs> just reading this now. So the next question that someone's wrote on this, I wonder who it was, mm. is. How much do you think it costs to have someone killed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember right. That. It depends. Well, it depends on, on the country as well. Well, yeah, country, how you want it done, and who the target is. How do you know this? Because it's basic information yeah. from news. What's the average cost? I want to say 20K, but that's my estimation. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but I'd put well 30. I suppose it depends on who you contract to do it mm. as well. Yeah. Depends on how high you value the target is as well. Because if like, it's a really important person, the mm. price is going to go up. Okay, new question then. How much would you charge to kill someone? Well, then you'd have to take the same questions into account. 11 you? mil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I want you to kill someone, Danny. Okay. I want you to kill... Uh, Say either of us because we don't like pizza ovens. <laughs> Rishi Sunak. Okay. Yeah, he really doesn't like pizza so, ovens fucking Christ. <laughs> How do you want it done? I don't when, care. When do you want it done? I don't care. We're not the improv He's quite, we're, <laughs> Within the next year. It's quite a high value target, so it'd have to be north 250. Really? Yeah. I'd do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I mean, that's how you fail your business. Nah. <laughs> okay. I'd get donations from people that hate him <laughs> from our Patreon <laughs> check it out patreon.com slash milkman apparently we kill people for you yep that's one of the mem- uh, membership levels yeah, that's the very top tier one <laughs> yep I thought that was just milky toast yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> no that's the code check, name check oh. it out <laughs> okay <laughs> fair, enough, fair enough do you think you actually could kill someone yeah I, no, like Jesus. genuinely, no, like, like was, no, no, no. Wait, you don't wait. like pizza ovens? <laughs> <laughs> no, like genuinely, like without joking. I, I wouldn't go out of my way to kill. I want to point this out. No, I wouldn't you don't go, have I'm not a will. fucking psychopath. I wouldn't go out of right. my way to kill someone. That's but what a I, psychopath would say. But if I was put in a situation, do or die, where it was life or death for me or someone I love, there's absolutely mm. fucking zero chance that I wouldn't. Like if someone if someone had a knife to Ellis's throat. <laughs> let him, Fair. Yeah. Let him have it yeah. but for for example if someone had a knife to Danny's throat who appreciated the pizza oven <laughs> then I'd probably do something about it yeah you'd kill him Danny yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it came to it I because re- isn't there like a switch in your brain like your natural instinct if you're yeah, putting a fight, fight. Or fight, or fight innit? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's it mm. so I reckon I could I'm ready for yeah, it. I reckon I could if like someone was just walking down the street. I reckon I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a gun. Yeah. I had a gun. Just a drive-by. intrusive force. Just, hey, do it. I'll do it. I'm Next sure. person that smiles at me is yeah. fucking getting it. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. What kind? What kind, what kind of smile? They're getting it. They're getting it. You what are they getting? Them? No. No. Okay. Are, you, are they... F- no, you... they're dying. All right. But there's... um, So... There's different like responses to like well trauma and that sort of like thing. You've got like fight or flight. There's also like friend and like oh um, like Stockholm that. syndrome and stuff. Mm, like so that. like some people like my response to like if someone's sort of being a bit like maybe not like gonna kill someone, mm. but my sort of like thing probably is to be more like friends with yeah, them. Yeah, try and talk to so, them. Like, yeah, mm. that's my sort of like instead of fighting. If that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, so that's if someone like starts reaction. on you, you want to. Become friends with them. Yeah. I'm more like, yeah, I'd sort of like that's how I try and get like, on their level. Yeah. That's yeah. like my sort of thing. Some people freeze. Some people like f- run away. Some I just laugh fight. when I'm in a situation. I just start fucking cackling. I'm straight to murder. <laughs> <laughs> Even if they like, just call me a cunt, that's it. I'm stabbing them. No, just like for example, if someone disagreed about a pizza oven <laughs> or some, just for the, you know, something, something along those lines, yeah. for legal reasons, yeah. if they die. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, let's get out of here. Fair enough, fair enough. All right. Why are, you, why are you shitting on my pizza oven? <laughs> I'm, 
I'm not Doesn't, actually shitting on it. I'm just saying. Okay. No, you should be happy for me. I've uh, bought a new gadget. I've, I've been happy enough with every purchase and everything you've done in the past few weeks, but this one, I'm disappointed. Oh, no, I didn't no. say it was bad. I was just asking more questions. <laughs> oh, oh, I can see that. I also, yeah. I also think you'll appreciate my fridge when you see it. No, I, so it's too big, but I can see the, like, like, the yeah. end game. Yeah. So I appreciate the fridge, but... <laughs> <laughs> but the pizza oven you don't fucking don't. stupid <laughs> my girlfriend also thinks the same but do you know what fuck <laughs> all of you I'm just do you know what I'm just gonna have my own just live with fucking none Danny none of you can have pizza from my pizza oven oh fuck man you can oh thanks I'll get you pizza let's go <laughs> put it in the oven just leave it in the box <laughs> I was like oh it's fucking ball like this isn't it just put it in the oven air fryer <laughs> Fucking so calzone it. <laughs> Just shoving it in the fucking... Right. Uh, what's, right next, next news. what's next? Oh, mate, this is fucking boring, this. Can I not skip this one? What is it? I'll read it. I'm going to read it all, just so people... No, 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 no. Just a, re- a little bit. Yeah. What is it? I can't remember what it is. It's, a, it's about Call of Duty. Uh, oh, well, was it to be fair, boys? the two nerds aren't here. Is it so. the collaboration? Yeah. No, it's oh, like... I'm, I'm going to read it. And then do, if we're not skim asleep... Through. Have a bit of a skim. <laughs> No, I'm going to read it word for word, just so you can get No, don't, because you can't read properly. <laughs> no, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 appears to be the next <sighs> entry in the series according to the new branding for an energy drink that was circulated on social media site X. <laughs> <laughs> the images that were shared by Call of Duty specialist site Charlie Intel show new monster energy boxes that feature Captain John Price and a logo for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. The can, that's what it says on here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's because it's about the Monster Energy can. <laughs> <laughs> the can itself also unveiled what might be a new look for Lieutenant Simon Ghost Riley. Ooh. Speculation was swirling that the next f- full premium release in the series would be Modern Warfare 3 after Acton... Acton... <laughs> okay, Activision. Actor <laughs> Warren Cole posted a photo on Instagram by himself in a motion capture suit. Commander Phillips Graves who was played by Cole, oh my was presumed dead God. at we the get end the of Modern point. Warfare 2. <laughs> and while the actor did not confirm or deny what role he was taking on in the post, fans suspect that Graves will be returning. So what is everybody's favourite COD game? <laughs> 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 it's the, what's the question following all of that? Everyone's favourite Call of Duty. From, I mean... Call of Duty 4, the first Modern Warfare, the original. That was my first one. See, I didn't really have a PlayStation or console or anything until basically Black Ops 2. Okay. So that's probably my favourite just because it's like the nostalgia of going back. Black Ops 2 is fucking phenomenal. Do you know, I actually really enjoyed Ghosts as well. It got a load of flack I at the time. I never played it, so I can't say. I remember playing, um, I'd come out to your house and play that and we'd do that. Oh, what game mode was it now? It was an alien kind of thing. Infected? Infected or, or something like that. And it used to be fucking wild fun. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. I loved Goat. And then the campaign was great as well. It, I, like, But okay. everyone hated it because some fucking... Just, uh, post-apocalyptic, just, right? I think it was something about the sniper scopes or some bullshit, but I thought it was well good. So that, actually, do you know what? I'm changing my answer. Ghosts. Okay. Call of Duty Ghosts was my favourite. I think mine, Black Ops 1. I like the story in that. Yeah. You know, with all like, well, the, the, the numbers, Mason. The numbers, Mason. Mm. I didn't even like clock that Black Ops 1 was connected to um, the Black fifth. Black Ops 2. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck off. Uh, World at War, the uh, World War 2, I think there's the fifth Call of Duty. Really? Yeah. So like, just, like I said, you know, before Black Ops 2, I, I had no idea. Yeah. So. I used to love zombies as well on Black Ops. Oh, mate, I was Stephen fucking... and Simon would cream if you started talking about zombies, but mm. I'm glad they're not here. I couldn't play it. It scared the shit out of me. It still does, honestly. Even playing like the newer zombies, I'm like, what? I'm, I'm shitting myself. I'm indifferent to the new zombies, but I was the exact same for the old one. Yeah. They all, like, Scary as fuck. Yeah. Mate, and then I remember, like I was at my mate's house and like, you know, we're having a sleepover and it would be like 4 a.m. And then he's like, oh, do you want to play zombies? And I'm like, just not. <laughs> uh, sure. And then it's like pitch black and he decides to turn off the lights and I'm like, all right, um, and then I'm just shitting myself. And the, oh, do you know what? I actually remembered as well. His brother walked outside at 4 a.m., mind you. I didn't know this, but he walked out. He's like, oh, I'm going to go and get a drink. So then he walked round, walked outside, and went next to the window that we were near and went, like that, and I shat myself. <laughs> Scariest moment of my life. 
Um, that's too real, man. It was. It yeah. was fucking horrible. I'm quite surprised that the uh, new Call of Duty is going to be in the next Modern Warfare because they usually take intervals of like going to different developers, don't they? Yeah, but they've stopped. What if they didn't? I've no fucking clue. Isn't it like because there was one a year, wasn't it? But I think they're doing yeah. one every two years or something okay. now. So because so, like, everyone was getting sick of it being shit, basically. Mm. I haven't kept up with it in a while now. No, I haven't I got the new one. I was going to, but nah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I probably won't buy this one to be fair. Oh, I'll watch the campaign on YouTube and that'll be about it. A bit of Allier. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he does that anymore, does he? Uh, yeah. I think it's just Fortnite. I've seen a thing hmm. with Allier and he was like blaming PewDiePie for like people coming to his house and that. What? And um, because he was saying that um, PewDiePie made that like, <laughs> meme famous. Him. You know, what the, meme? The whole Allier intro. Yeah. Like really like loud and distorted. Yeah. Mm. Like PewDiePie sort of made it a bit more popular because he did it on like meme review or whatever. Yeah. And Ali is blaming oh, that. So he's blaming people. PewDiePie yeah. for his success. Yeah, basically. Yeah. What? what? Mm, I know. Why would you know. be fuming at that? Yeah. Speaking of Call of Duty, sorry, a little bit of information about the Modern Warfare scene. They did a collaboration last week where they uh, put the boys' yeah, characters yeah, yeah. into Warzone. Mm. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? It's, are they doing? Yeah. it's cool, but also. Not on the right, not the right place for it. Mm. I think there's a question on there. I just remembered Battlefield versus COD, which is better? Battlefield, Battlefield, hundred percent. Why are you trying to do my job? Because <laughs> I, I remembered it, and it's part of the story. But you're not. <laughs> I'm gonna read it. Go on then. <laughs> okay. Go on then. I've got a question for everybody. Okay. COD versus Battlefield. <laughs> um, Peggle. COD. Yeah, probably COD. <laughs> yeah. Paddock. No. I don't even play that much video games. Barely yet any video games at all but i know battlefield is the the right choice i can't at the moment because i'm not sure if i mentioned but i've moved into a new house <laughs> does it have a pizza oven in it <coughs> not yet oh actually yeah no it arrived today so yeah it does oof i'm not visiting again <laughs> all right all right <laughs> <laughs> that's pizza to cook save me a job to go into asda to get some fucking more febreze for you jesus <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Fucking hell. it's usually me bringing the febreze yeah <laughs> I'd be shitting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any more questions, Chris? Yes. So, we've got an age-old question. Mm. Do you prefer boots on ground or flying jetpack men with lasers? Depends on the game. Yeah. If it's Titanfall, fucking give it to me, that jetpack. But if it's... Call In of relation Duty, to COD, yeah. I think it would have to be just boots on yeah, ground. Boots on ground, yeah. I, wa I want... It's so that... As a kid, I was really into the idea of Call of Duty going big scope like Battlefield, and I'm pretty sure they tried it once, and it fucking tanked. So going back to their roots with how the old Call of Duties feel is probably the wise decision with that. So, mm. yeah, boots on the ground. Going back to that question you said about COD versus Battlefield, I feel like the last Battlefield was okay, but it was a bit shit for yeah. Battlefield. It was it, like They had a lot of promises and they didn't deliver, but apparently it's getting there. But Apparently, yeah, apparently it's much better now, but it's like it's that's not, too, not right? the point. Yeah. Most of the other battlefields have been doing I the same just, thing. Yeah, yeah, like but I, you know, what I love was uh, Battlefield One. No, yeah, that yeah, was a great one. I World War that. One, wasn't it? Mm. Oh, what a fuck, yeah. mate! The graphics on that for its time, holy yeah. shit! Mm -hmm. insane. insane game, mm. and it was so fun as well because you just do random shit. Mm. Yeah, like, oh, I'm just gonna get this plane and fuck it into a rock. <laughs> <laughs> He's not good at flying. No, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's like the charm of that game as well. There's a um, skill to look ratio, where you actually have to learn the mm. like the mm. complicated mechanics of like say flight, mm. and then you, the rewards fall off and stuff. Mm. Yeah, fucking hell, this is a nerdy conversation, mm, wasn't it? it was. Moving on. There we go. Next segment. And um, if you haven't already, make sure to follow us on Twitter or X, Instagram and TikTok with the handle at WatchMilkmen. Behind the scenes and extra content, and uh, also because I asked you quite nicely. Uh, once again, at Watch Milkman on all social media. Well done, Chris. I think you're doing a good job hosting. Cheers, Dad. Okay, it brings us on to our next segment, which is called Curdled Conversation. Mate, we've been doing this for ages, haven't we? Okay, now we're only on Curdled Conversation. 
We're near the end, mate. Fucking, you got like three cards left. What are you on about? Yeah, but you just know this is going to take a while. Nah, we'll all skim through. Nah, it. we're just going to go through it dead quick now. You <laughs> said this. <laughs> it's a conversation. Uh, in case anyone doesn't know what curdled conversation is, it's a conversation between the four of us where we delve into the hypotheticals of the world's most notorious and despicable questions that we now encourage you, the audience, to send us. So if you've got a question, send it in in the, uh, in the comments below. Um, maybe say something nice about me as well while you're at it. No. Don't. Right. <laughs> uh, so here's a hypothetical question for you ladies. If you could start a secret society, what would be its goals and who? Would you include? <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to Nazis. <laughs> yeah. Secret society. What, then? what are you thinking? You're just trying like, right, right, don't be racist. <laughs> don't be... No, I've got one. Okay. It's a society. It's very secret. For people that have know. pizza yeah. ovens. For people that have pizza <laughs> ovens that enjoy just general yeah. pizza ovens and they like to promote pizza can, ovens can a society only have two members or does that have to be more than that tell that to the thousand people that have reviewed it on amazon <laughs> yeah yeah but have they used it no <laughs> yeah, they're all one star reviews saying not worth buying yeah. oh, is that your actually your actual society or be yeah because fuck you Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna mention it every segment every, pizza every oven, blah, no blah, blah. not every segment every episode from okay. this point going forward i'm gonna say the next episode will be, I have a pizza shit. <laughs> I've used it. It was a <laughs> big my pizza oven and it is wank. <laughs> That'll be the next episode, yeah. Uh, fair enough. Um, this is a half-baked uh, thought. My society will revolve around everyone filing under uh, each of the seven deadly sins. So, again, half-baked, so I'm trying to figure out where it's going. <laughs> Sometimes he just starts a yeah, comment. Like he starts a sentence and doesn't know where it's going. Yeah, no, I like that. Yeah, yeah I, I like I, it as well. Um, oh, I'm mates with you. It's the only reason. only reason, not yep. because I'm so fucking hot. Um, <laughs> um, so everyone in like say lust or is it envy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, yeah. None of them uh, cross each other. So everyone who identifies with that deadly sin is like subjugated to one. Uh, place in this society and they all have to intertwine with each other right so what are they what are the, the things oh, I'm gonna have to google it because I'm terrible at remembering so basically it's like if you ident so like say if you had like a certain personality and there's like tests that teach you and categorize you right mm -hmm. imagine if the seven deadly sins the one that you identify with the most in general you're forced into a group with the same principles okay and so then, when then what's your goal just live there's no end goal you just basically i'm out why all right just okay. live. i don't want to live <laughs> if i tell you each of the deadly sins and you tell me which one you would identify with most Sarshan, then we can figure out where you yeah need to be put oh you are loves pizza <laughs> 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 Keep Love talking because I'm still good. Take a shot every time I said pizza oven. <laughs> Mate, everyone's gonna be fucking steaming. They, they won't be they able to made see it. now. They haven't made it this far no. doing that. Okay. Um, I'm just thinking. If I was to have a, I, I'm already in a secret society. Did not, did not tell you. Like, well, it's, it's a secret. A secret so <laughs> yeah, it's it's just if you it's a hate Chris. pizza oven. <laughs> 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 That's not a secret. Oh. Um, it's uh, a secret society of Chris's. We're just trying it uh, out. <laughs> like the fucking the multiverse. Yeah, we're it just everyone's a Chris. Yeah, I'm not doing very well, but the other ones are doing quite well. Chris Evans, Hemsworth, Pine. They're all doing quite well. Right. I'm I'm not I, I'm you quite get, low in the society, but you you're know, getting there. Yeah, you know, this you got is a few something. cameras on you. It's something, isn't it? I mean, we click record, but mm. we'll there's get no one there. behind them. Yeah. It's just a massive social experiment. Uh, no, there's loads of people behind these cameras. There's fucking there's We've got Bob and Dean and Studio audience. Yeah. No, they, they, they haven't laughed yet. Cue the audience laugh. <laughs> I'm not adding that. Yeah, you are. They uh, have to. They're right there. You need to get a button with a speaker behind it now. <laughs> <laughs> press it every time. <laughs> All right. Do you want me to list the uh, seven deadly sins? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the first one's lust. Second is that is, just where you're like super horny? Pretty much. Gluttony. 
so you overindulge and that's like more the case of like overeating <laughs> all right <laughs> uh, you've got gluten uh, on. Over, yeah. <laughs> keep okay. going we've got pride you've got envy you've got greed you've got wrath which is like feelings of hatred and anger and you've got sloth which is <laughs> just lazy well we definitely know which one steven is mm. <laughs> so which one do you identify with i think we all know uh, gluttony i yeah do you know what I would I would actually say overindulge because not because I'm a fat cunt because like you all like saying <laughs> yeah he well, well you fridge. are though yeah he buys his pizza I ovens. buy pizza ovens I bought a new fridge like Chris said you know yeah. I bought a house I can't afford mm. I bought a car I can't afford isn't your car paid off yeah so you can afford it <laughs> no he's in debt after paying it off uh, yeah yeah mm. no um. Yeah, I, I, I don't know though, because I'm, I'm not like mental. Like I'm, I'm clever with what I'm buying, or like whatever. But I do, I don't. You don't See, have... I, was, I was thinking this the other day, right? Because you don't have a limit. Uh, not, no, not I do, I do, but like I'm not a, like, for example, Chris is a tight cunt, right? Mm. Greed. Yeah, you're <laughs> definitely greed. Whereas, like, I like my life, right? And I like to Pizza enjoy ovens. things. Yeah. Whereas he would be like. I'm just saying. Do you know what I mean? He's for like, what? For what? A house. Yeah, you say that, but as soon as you get 20k in the bank, you're going to get another car. Oh. What did you do last time? Sure. Yeah, John. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know, though. I don't think. I don't know. What are they again? Say them again. Okay. Envy, yeah. lust. Gluttony, pride. What's gluttony again? The one that we were just yeah. saying. Yeah. Right. Uh, pride. Pride. As in, like, you're just gay. There was sloth. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there was greed. Yeah, yeah envy that's... and wrath. What's what's pride though? Like you just really no, pride is inflated of sense of one's accomplishments. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> you're all of them, mate. You're yeah, all yeah, I think all I'm a mix. <laughs> I'm a mix. To be fair, I've got a lot of wrath as well because yeah, just driving here, it took me two hours, mate. The amount of fucking idiots on the road. Honestly, I had the same problem. I was, was... beeping everyone. I think I beeped you at one point. <laughs> <laughs> fucking get out of the way, Dick. <laughs> I just hate everyone, but then I'm also, I do overindulge. Like when I, when I go out with you guys and get food, I'm like, oh, I've overdone it. We're Every doing time. that later, by the way. Fail. Every I'm single time. I'm fucking hungry. I'm ready to yeah, overindulge. Hearing, I keep hearing his stomach. Do you? Yeah. yeah. I'm, so, yeah. I'm worried if the microphone's Mike's picking, picking it up. I'm surprised you haven't heard mine, but it's not because I'm hungry. So. <laughs> um. I can smell no. <laughs> I can smell yours, cunt. Um. <laughs> uh, have you got any, any societies, Danny? Oh, go on. Come on. Just say it. No, it's not as bad as you think it'd be. Okay, go on. It'd literally just be a load of fucking assholes in shitbox cars that have made really powerful running from cops. So basically UK chaps. <laughs> no, because they'd be really nice cars that just made to look like a standard car that you just see like naturally on the road. Oh, so sorry. A car. Right, got you. And I then... thought you meant like a Vauxhall Corsa no, with a no, fucking no. spoiler Vauxhall on it. No. I saw one of them today. I was just like, you are an absolute gimp. <laughs> no, it'd be like say your car, but souped up a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, so. so it's like mental. Yeah, yeah. That's, and then just run some cops. I'd join that. <laughs> but oh yeah, sorry. Like I was saying before, so you know, I was like overindulged. Yeah. Well, I was thinking about this the other day because basically, Danny. <sighs> I don't know how to start this story. It's a bit of a long one. Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> Essentially. Yeah. I'm redoing my entire house, aren't yes. I? And then you guys are asking like, oh, you know, how much you spend or whatever. So I'm doing that. Mm. So I'm overindulging in my house because I can. And I'd rather but not have But you see the... the value in doing that. Yeah, but I'd rather not have the cash in my bank account because I'm just like, I'm going to fucking lose it to inflation. And also later on in life when I have kids or whatever and then I die, I don't want to have loads in my account because fuck the kids. <laughs> sort yourself out. Yeah. I'd rather have no money in my account and then they have to pay for everything themselves. Because I'd rather enjoy my life. But then I was thinking, even after paying for everything in the house, I'm still going to have some. Not me showing off, by the way. I'm just saying, I'll still have some left over. And he's been trying to convince me to buy a car. Buy the Mustang. And I keep seeing him for the price range that I'd be able to afford. You pussy. And it's a very bad decision. So I need you to convince me to not do it. Do it. (laughs) Well, I would say have a waiting time or like... That's put not you, what I want to hear. Put Alice. yourself a fucking deadline <laughs> where you live God. in that house, everything done for say two to three months, and if everything hasn't like unexpectedly Broken. come, <laughs> yeah, the then house breaks down. Buy a fucking Mustang. You can live in a car. 
<laughs> yeah, they're called motorhomes. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> here's an idea. <laughs> I uh, I spoke to a, a I was going to say a boiler a builder today. boiler. I spoke to another builder, and um, he said that all the like everything could get finished by sort of like mid January. What in the house? Yeah. Oh, which I think is pretty good. To be yeah. Fair. Mm. So, I reckon. Is that uh, all internal? Not external stuff. Yeah, because I mean, the only Besides thing. garden. Well, I mean, I'm doing that anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. The only sort of internal, out, you know, external thing is the what, because we're replacing some walls. Like the garage door is becoming a wall. Mm. The door in the kitchen. Please say you're going to put a window there. What? The in the garage? garage? Yeah. No, it's just going to be pitch black all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, you know, like my office. Oh, you can make it into a cinema room. Yeah, we are. No, like pitch black. Yeah, that's the other thing. No window. But oh, yeah. just have it dark. No, or dim lights. No, do you know? Do you know why as well? And this is a good bit of information that I got taught by Stephen's dad. Uh. Right. So shout out to Graham because he's a fucking legend as well. Uh. He was telling me that if you do build something and you don't have a window on it, it can't be classed as a bedroom. So when I go to sell this house, because it'll have a window, it could be classed as a bedroom, so I'll have a bigger house, oh. essentially. So it'll be worth a lot more because yeah. it's just a window. Gnarly. Mm. So yeah, I can't have the cinema room. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to have to move out. <laughs> just bl- blackout blinds, that's all you need. Yeah. I you can't go. wait for our, oh, this is an, I'm sorry to make this so long, but our marathon for Lord of the Rings. Yeah, and The Hobbit, aren't we? Yeah. But we're doing it on like Blu-ray. I told my mum this a couple of days ago, and she was under the impression that I wanted to watch the fucking animated, like, really old films they made back in the day. Of Lord of the Rings? Yeah, they made some, like, cartoon Oh, do you know what? I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, terrible yeah. ones. I was like, fuck off. No, we're going to watch Peter the Jackson all the way. Extended 4K, extended whatever cut, the fuck. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a long day. Long day. I love it. Probably a long weekend, to be fair, because mm. we're not watching... The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings all in one Try game. it. You'll die. Yeah. We're going to have second this breakfast. And pizza oven's going to come in clutch. Because <laughs> we're not going to have time. I'm just eating nothing but potatoes. Is that why going to be? air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't shit, bitch. <laughs> you no, know I'm going to get rid of my cooker. <laughs> just so I only in use spite. the pizza oven. All right. Getting fair. rid of the air fryer. Microwave gone. Pizza oven for everything. <laughs> Egg. Every... <laughs> Don't even crack it, just throw it in. Yeah. <laughs> On fire immediately. Burn. Eat it. Done. Nice. Good logic. All right. Where we're, we're we? off the rails here. Yeah, we're we were. Sorry rails. about that, everyone. Anyway, so that's all secret societies sorted. Yeah, how do we get to <laughs> You honest, honestly I mean you're not host, mate. You're going mate, chatterbox I'm... today. Hey, hey, Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry, Damn. everyone. Spoilers, Alice. Spoilers. <laughs> I've got a bonus I mean a bonus question for you. <laughs> Go on. If you could snap your fingers and make any one species go extinct, which species? Humans. Which species? Humans. Yeah, yeah, I knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. I am inevitable. Hmm. I what, might, what would it actually be? Why well, we got to pick on the animals? Do you know what I mean? What are they done? Oh, wasps. Gonna choose? Fuck wasps. Oh, oh you know yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Right, wasps. Yeah, they're what gone. What do they do? Dogs. I like bees. Yeah, bees are nice, mate. Kill yourself. <laughs> he just said dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Me? All right, cats then. Okay. Mm, some of them are cute. Like yeah. Stephen's cat is pretty cute. <sighs> oh, yeah, fair enough. I'll let you have that one. Yeah. Um, cows. What the fuck? <laughs> no. That's even worse than dogs. Uh, oh. So wasps, definitely. Mm. Mm. We all get one. Like, okay. <sighs> what's just a, a f- mosquitoes? Yeah. yeah just they're the, just rats. They're I mean, just, they're not. They're actual mosquitoes. <laughs> but they're fucking annoying us. Oh, what about rats? No, rats are good pets. Yeah, rats are cute. I don't think I don't, I don't have a problem with them. Yeah, but don't they carry like disease? We so all pigeons. Pigeons are and so do we. Rats of the sky. Have you heard of an SDI before? No, I've never heard of riddled with them. <laughs> um, what rats? <laughs> I'm riddled I'd, with rats. I think I'd get rid of rats. But koalas have chlamydia. Yeah, but yeah. they're cute, man. No, no one. They're you're not chilling. gonna fuck a koala, are you? I might. You did say it was cute. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit too cute, if you ask me. <laughs> So we got I've I've chosen mosquitoes, wasps, rats. That's, oh. Why, mate? Because little old Remy cooking. What's the matter Because <laughs> then I wouldn't be crazy, and in a rubber room. What? I was crazy once. 
Uh-huh. Not, not it's going to be in a room. It's going to be in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room of rats. rats I don't know crazy. what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> crazy. Uh, well, do you I guys just not go on no, social media? No. He hasn't heard of internet. Anyway, fuck. I think I would choose... You know what, I, choose, I think I'd go like Gorilla or something like that. <laughs> just Why? because... I just feel like I don't want anything that's going to be... But then Joe Rogan would disappear. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I reckon I could fight off uh, any, a monkey. But a gorilla... You're fucked. You want, too strong. You want to eliminate the competition. Yeah. In what world are you fighting a gorilla? <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. Harambe. A gorilla Rest might just peace. come in here one day. Mm. What? What? You, you two have chosen the worst thing. Think of something that's annoying, like to you personally. Right, Oshan, uh, what? Oh. <laughs> Wasps, great example. Mosquitoes, great example. What about like horse flies? I thought yeah, you were going to say horses just, then. <laughs> just choosing insects, do you know what I mean? Yeah, because they're all fucking annoying. Oh, I fucking spider that I don't like. I don't know, a specific one. <laughs> there's like 20, 30,000 species of spiders. There's, there's decent ones, aren't there? Like eat little bugs that you don't want to eat. Decent out. ones, yeah, you The ones that like Damn me up, that homie. would like kill you, like, like a black widow or something like that. There is that but, little insect that burrows into children's eyes, isn't there? Mm. Yeah, that's keep that. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm. Helps with the population. Are you seriously keeping rats? Yeah. You are it's a rat. You're, <laughs> you're really disgusting little animals. Yeah, it's their you choice. Watch, I'd shoot one if there was one with property. Hundred percent. You, oh, here's a fun fact. Did you know you're always at minimum 10 meters away from a rat wherever you are on the planet? <laughs> and That's hot. At all times. I'm like two centimeters away from one. I'm a rat. Good one. <laughs> Knee slap on that one. Whee! Nobody slap. Nobody Nobody slap. What's your species, Chris? I've that you get rid you. of? Gorillas. You're really keeping that. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I just. What's your beef with gorillas? <laughs> I just think I don't want to get killed by a gorilla. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, right. We'll just move on yeah. because I'm not going to convince you that you're never going to get fucking killed by a gorilla. Mm, you just well, don't know. Why are you afraid of gorillas? I'm not afraid of them. I just don't want to. Just... No, I don't have to worry. You know what I mean? I'm in the jungle. M- maybe he knows. Like, well, maybe Jaguar. he knows his future. Like, I reckon I could take that. <laughs> oh, okay. T- Tiger, well, a lion, a cheetah. Everything else that would kill you. Gorilla just wants a banana, mate. <laughs> He's just <laughs> chilling. Literally just chilling, yeah. Literally, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, stop waff, mate, honestly. This is like the longest one because I'm host and I can't honestly. stop you waffling on. Yeah. yeah. Right, on. on to the change game. Oh, fuck. This is going to take ages. Yeah. No, just Let's say just do a really quick one then. Yeah. Okay. I got... I'll, I'll go yeah. with... I'll host. I want to host. No, uh, but Danny didn't go on the last one, did he? So? I did the very first one. doesn't matter. You... Right. You host. No, you host, Ellis. Okay. All right. Oh, sorry. You host then, and it'll be me and Chris. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, and just to explain what the change game is, two of the milkmen perform a scene based on suggestions from everyone else. Um, at one point in the scene, the host, uh, Danny, will say, change! Uh, at which point, the previous line of dialogue uh, will be changed. Who would have thought? Who would have mm. thought? So, um, so who are... replaced with a new line of dialogue. Yeah. So who are me and Chris? What are we doing? Where are we? I'm a gorilla. <laughs> and he's Chris. <laughs> um, That's going to be really fucking in, easy for you then. You're in B&M. Okay. No, I'm not actually a gorilla. No, so. you are. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Change. Change. <laughs> 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 no, I, so we're in B&M. You're yeah. a gorilla that talks. I'm a gorilla that okay. Um, I'm a gorilla that's in a gorilla costume or something. Okay, I'm in a gorilla costume. <laughs> okay. And what's Chris doing? He's just doing his weekly shop in BM. And you're just there to harass him. I'm there to harass him. <laughs> yeah. Just because <laughs> apparently got a fear of gorillas. Hello. Oh, all right. How's okay. this gonna go? I, I, like I don't this. know. <laughs> I just okay, fine, whatever. Do I work there? What's happening? I'm just <laughs> yeah, walking up. When do, how do we best. initiate? Okay. Why am I talking to him? <laughs> he's I, in a gorilla costume. Well, he comes up to you, I, he's harassing yeah, you. Right, okay. And I work there. Alright, okay. Oi, you! You! Oi! I need some bananas! Hello? I, I don't sell bananas. You work here, right? Change. Yeah! Uh, the bananas are down there. Go away. <laughs> no, they're not. I've got them in my hand right here. Okay, well then why are you asking me? Because I need more. Change. <laughs> because I need less. Change. Want, uh, because I want to eat them in front of you. Okay. 
Fine. Go on. Change. Get... What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Here. Here's a banana. Eat it with your mouth. Change. Eat it with your ass. <laughs> I'm going to shove it up your ass. <laughs> Why? Why are you here? Change. Hang on a minute. Why are you dressed as a gorilla? Why are you asking questions <laughs> like that? Eat this banana with your ass. No. Change. Oh, fine. If Change. You just, I mean, uh, just, just a little bit. <laughs> Here's a tip. <laughs> you want just the tip of the banana? Change. I can't just give you the tip, mate. You're going to enjoy this a lot more than you think. Why has it gone to like <laughs> shoving someone up his ass? You're going to love it. One of your five a day, I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> Mine just have to go in that way. Change. Uh, please put it in the other <laughs> Okay, well, how about this then? I'll eat the banana first, and then I'll feed it to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why? Why am I here? Why am I here in this shop right now? Why I don't do I know. Exist? Is there anything I can help with? I actually work here. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Where is your manager, actually? I lied. Oh. <laughs> I am the manager, motherfucker. <laughs> you got to change. Uh, <laughs> how? Okay, where are we going with this? Where? where are we going to do it right here? No, I was just saying, do you want any help, sir? <laughs> oh, sorry. I completely misinterpreted what you were saying. Uh, yeah. Sorry, my bad. My apologies. Yeah, um, I, I don't know where this all came from, to be honest. I was just asking if you need any help. Change. I was just asking if you wanted some bananas. Oh, right. Okay, well, yeah, actually, you know what? I do need some bananas, actually, now I think about it. Okay, well, I'll put it in your trolley for you. How about my ass? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very uncomfortable. Change. Bye. There we go. <laughs> Done. Oh. There we go. Nice. Well, oh, where did that... <laughs> I feel like our improv is getting better because it didn't straight away go to anal sex. <laughs> We did get there eventually. <laughs> it happens, then it happens. Um, it's just me and you, mate. We're just always uh, yeah. trying to touching tips. Mm. Yeah, happens, happens. Oh, uh, all right, well, that was good. Some uh, bit of useful info going on there. <laughs> you know, we, what a podcast, eh? What a podcast. Yeah. That's my favorite. Uh, so this brings us on to the final segment, which is Simon's milk facts. Now, I reckon he's got a good one, if he was here, but he's not. So and let's all listen and awkwardly stare at the camera for longer this time, because he's going to send it. I remember he's going to send a really, like a really long, long, one. long fact. Gotcha. Okay, I might have a little nap whilst we do it. Here we yeah. go. So three, two, one. Did you know that adding salt to milk will keep it fresher for longer? I think that's long enough, don't you think? That is disgusting. <laughs> I can't believe they do that. With what milk. kind of fucking farmer does, does that? that to his cows? You know what? It's funny because this is going to have no fucking context no. to whatever fact he <laughs> yeah. sent. Mm-hmm. So that's <laughs> yeah. the joke. Thanks for watching. It's not a joke. <laughs> Anything you want to say, Chris? Um, yeah, I mean, it's been fun hosting. You know. Should we give him a round of applause? No. No, don't. I don't want that. Um, yeah, so later, uh, uh, just yeah, watch the next one, I suppose, but don't, don't listen to me. Do you know what I mean? Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. It's always you that does that. Bye. <laughs> Au revoir. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Uh, remember, why not track out, check out uh, the old uh, patreon.com slash milkmen. Um, remember, you get early access to our videos, bonus content, monthly toe pictures. Merchandise discounts, signed postcards, your name in our videos. Um, and there's, there's loads more, mate. Just, just check it out, yeah? Just check it out. Check it out. So, uh, don't forget as well, subscribe to our YouTube channel to be in with a chance of winning £5,000 in our new giveaway on our Patreon. I don't know if we should say this, right? Is this happening? Who, who's £5,000? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, make sure to click that bell to be notified for future content. See you next time, you smelly little... Hang on, telly tubby fuckers. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>